Hey, Steve Zonardo here with Remax Experts, Zonardo Associates. Happy Monday morning. Just a real quick update on the market. Current inventory, 21,867 units, so up 100 since last week. 1,103 sold, so I think we're up about 50 more sales in the week. Um, I was talking to Mike this morning, checked inventory on Friday, and Friday it was around 22,000, 22,000, a uh, couple hundred. So it kind of peaked over 22,000, but then by the weekend they usually, um, either they sell more or they actually firm up by the weekend because of the earlier sales, sales during the week. So by the time we get it, we get it, um, that's why we always do it every Monday because that's our process. And uh, so just up 100 since last week, so not bad. Um, Market's going okay. We're starting to pick up to, um, we're starting to get more calls. Things are starting to come together. Had a little bit of a, of a slow period. Again, April's usually one of those months. Um, and then also May, it was steady, but again, it was one of those hit and miss months. And now we're starting to pick up a little further. But if you're kind of looking at um, some of these articles being written down or, or just written here and we're just reading them, residential market, uh, mortgage debt hits 2.6 2.16 trillion amid the slowest growth in 23 years. So the slowest growth meaning that uh, the amount of mortgages being taken out. So it's obviously there's a little bit of a dip, but we know that's part of the inflation, part of the interest rate, part of the affordability issues. Um, some some of these, you know, you kind of read these articles. It's it's a lot of that. There, there's a lot of telltales about the concerns about the debt being held and how it's going to get paid back by whoever's holding them by the mortgage ease rather so in context where debt levels have have never been so elevated and households are showing increased warning signs of financial struggle household debt vulnerability is becoming a primary area of concern said the cmhc deputy chief economist tanya um, and if you keep continue on reading this article, as homeowners find it more difficult to manage their monthly budgets, policymakers and financial sectors are, are on high alert when considering risks of financial industry and the economy. Um, you know, based on all this, is a, the affordability is a definitely an issue going forward and also the debt being held. And this is why you're starting to see uh, more rental buildings getting put up and more rental opportunities put into your face as instead of home ownership as it always was, now it's all about renting. And I was just reading this article here, um, and I love this. This is a great highlighted developer tells Canadians price out of home ownerships. It's okay to rent. <laughs> it's beautiful how they wrote that. So it's okay to rent. Don't worry about owning a home. It's you're okay. Just rent. We want to just want to take your money. You're fine. You don't need to own anything. You don't need to build any wealth. Just give me your money every week or every month rather. So there's this. Um, Developer now, uh, so the company Roca founded and runs Fistrova has 8,500 rental units under development currently right now in Canada. So he's going very, he's going all in on this. Um, so he says, with higher rates of own home ownership, many of the developed peers rented in Canada have traditionally been seen as transitionary state for young people or one reserved for those on lower incomes. But now that home prices are and borrowing costs have spiraled out, out of reach, even for many big earners that may be changing. Roku is, is looking to build an empire off that shift. So perhaps an, alleviate Canada's broader housing shortage uh, while he does. So what he's trying to do is get like high, he's, he's doing like high end rentals. So like if you kind of read what he's doing here. So we feel passionately about changing that stigma. He said on a visit to our finished building in Midtown Toronto after showing off a two story gym with complimentary cold press juices, sky lounge tenants can book for entertaining. We, we very much want to change the optics around renting it doesn't matter what you're changing with the optics when you're renting you're not owning you're not owning you're not building wealth there's always doesn't matter like renting's cool when you're when you're you're going to spend a week you know down south or something but if you're going to do that for a living even now our unit here we're renting this is on the top of my mind i have to to buy and that's obviously going to happen once we get our bills off the ground i can't rent it doesn't make sense if you're paying couple thousand dollars for rent you can be putting that towards a mortgage you're building wealth you have ownership of something one day you're going to retire you can rent it out you can sell it you can do a bunch of stuff with it or you can move into it and that's also for business ownership like our this is a commercial sector here commercial uh building here obviously it's, it's like business prestige but ultimately you own it you hold it you, you retire you don't need to have use of it you just rent it out and you create passive income but you got to take the risk early on in life right um, but again, this is that whole mentality going forward in Canada where it's becoming a renter's market. And I've always been saying this the last 10 years, it's going to turn out to be like Europe very shortly where you don't own anything. Um, 
and you're sort of going to be happy. Let's just say that because even in Europe, they were own nothing and they were happy because they had beauty all around them. In Canada, you have not the greatest weather um, and not the greatest, you know, activities, daily activities to kind of have fun with your family. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is another one of those articles. It's kind of you know telling you the sh the future of Canada where they're, they're looking at a renters community rather than say a home ownership but this is another another article that kind of cements my thinking into place obviously the, the government I, I said in the past they're, they're putting something together for affordable homes affordable properties but it's not or affordable apartments rather but this is just based on um, apartments so they're basically putting a, a 1.5 billion dollars into rentals so the the euro Government's going to be the biggest landlord of them all. So that's pretty much it. Have a great day, guys. If you have any questions regarding real estate, uh, always feel free to reach out, 647-962-4372. Have a great day.